Um, let's just get to it. A homestead is assessed for 19500 The city mills are 8 County mills are 5.6. School board mills are 9.25. What's the total property taxes for this property? You get a base $25,000 for properties uh, valued up to 20 or assessed up to $25,000, which means on this particular property, because it's less than $25,000 and it's their homestead, the answer is zero. Now we're going to talk about homestead exemptions, $25,001 to $50,000, okay? You have a base deduction of $25,000 for city, county, and school board. These are individuals. What we're determining is how much we're going to multiply the meals by. The deductions, what you're going to reduce the assessed value by before you multiply it times 8, before you multiply it times 5.6, before you multiply it times 9.25. So let's figure out what the total property taxes for this property is. Based homestead deduction for all three categories in this case is $25,000. So it makes it real simple. We just take the assessed value, subtract the $25,000. So we have a taxable value of $12,900 for all three of them. So all we need to do is add all three millage rates up and multiply it times 12,900. The total property taxes for this particular property is $294.77. Now we're gonna do a homestead exemption for homes that are valued between 50,000 and $1 and 75,000. Now city county deductions are prorated. School board remains at 25. So here's your question. A homestead is assessed for $68,700. The city mills are 8, county mills are 5.6, school board mills are 9.25. What's the total property taxes? Okay, this is kind of a long one, so bear with me. Okay, $25,000 is your base exemption. Okay, $68,700 minus 50 equals the additional exemption. Added together for city and county means you can take or reduce the assessed value by $43,700, which means your taxable value for your city and your county is going to be $25,000. The total millage added up for city and county is 13.6. So take $25,000 and multiply it times the millage rate and your city and county taxes are $340. Now we have to do the school board separately because they only allow the $25,000 base exemption, which means the taxable value is $43,700. The millage rate was 9.25, so we have to multiply 43,700 times the millage rate, and your school board taxes are 404.23. When you add those two together, Total property taxes are seven forty four twenty three. Now, if your homestead exemption is greater than seventy five thousand, there's fifty thousand that's deducted from the value for the city and county, and twenty five for the school board. School board never changed. It's a base twenty five thousand dollars. Now, don't forget your special exemptions. If you have special exemptions, you're going to add this to it or add them to this figure. I'm just not doing it because I want it to be clear what we're doing otherwise. Just don't forget your special exemptions if they're me mentioned in the problem. Um, blind, widowed, um, totally permanently disabled people, they get an additional 500. If they're quadriplegics, they're totally exempt. And your military, watch out for your military, they get an additional $5,000 reduction if they have a service-connected disability of 10% or more. If they're totally and permanently disabled from a service-connected disability, they don't have to pay property taxes at all. So just keep in mind those extra special exemptions. So now let's do the one that's greater than $75,000. It's actually kind of one of the easier ones. So the question is, a homestead's assessed for $325,790. We already know that the city mills are 8, 
County 5.6, school board 9.25. What's the total property taxes for this property? Subtract 50,000 from 325,790. That's going to give you your taxable value for your city and county of 275,790. Multiply it times those millage rates added up, which are 13.6. So your city and county taxes due are 3,750.74. Okay, we got to do our school board separate. Remember that because it's only 25. So we're going to subtract the 25,000. Our taxable value now for the school board is 300,790. We're going to multiply that times the millage rate of 9.25, which gives us taxes due on the school board of 2782.31. When you add those two figures up, your total property tax for this piece of property is $6,533.05. Now, watch out for this particular question. Make sure that you know whether they're asking you for the tax savings, how much they saved because they filed a homestead, or do they want the property taxes? Because I can guarantee you almost, because I don't know, but I can almost guarantee you they'll have the right wrong answer for each one of them on any exam you take. So here's the question. A homestead is assessed for 325790 just like the last question we had. City, county, school board mills are the same. The only difference in this question is they want to know what the tax savings is for this property. You have a 50000 deduction for city and county taxes. Add those millage rates up. Multiply it. You save $680 because you filed the homestead exemption from your city and county taxes. All right? Because you filed a homestead exemption, you're going to save $231.25 from your school board taxes. Add them together and you saved a total of $911.25 because you filed a homestead tax exemption. Thank you for viewing. Please take time to check out our other clips on real estate math here on YouTube. And if you want more information on real estate classes or other instructor-led videos, you can contact me 